Hey, so welcome back to a continuation of Notes 1.4. Um, if you see on Notes 1.4, we're down here at number eight. So we have estimates for Medicare in billions are here. So the year and the cost. Uh, we don't know what type of function, et cetera, here. So I'm going to minimize this and go to Desmos here. I'm going to make a table. So if you remember back here, we're going to do this and add a table. I'm going to put in the years, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005. Amounts then as well, um, 264, and this is in billions of dollars spent. It's a lot of money. Okay. Whoops. One, two, ninety-nine, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't want six. Okay. So now if I want to make an equation, well, let's do this. Let's do zoom this little thing here, zoom fit. Gives us these points. So the first question was how what kind of function is it? It is a linear function, straight line. Next one, write a model for this data. So model means an equation here. So to get our equation, if you remember, we hit y1 and the tilde which is shift and then the button next to the one all right let's do slope intercept so mx plus b m x1 plus the b now remember to put the y1 and the x1 to refer back to these up here okay um notice it gives us a, a slope of 18 and a y-intercept right here so that is our equation y is equal to 18x minus 35772.5. That would be our equation. Okay. Step number three, estimate for 2010. You can do that two different ways. Okay, 2010, we could go out here to 2010. And go up here, and our estimate would be... If we can get it right on there. 407.5, 407.5 billion dollars worth spent. I could also use the equation and just plug in 2010. That would be another way to find that number as well. Okay. Um, D, write a model. Oh, that's actually what we did. I guess with write a model for part B. Um, yeah. We'll just leave it as the least squared regression line, which we did here in, in, uh, with Desmos. Um, part E, is it a good fit? So if you think about our points here, how good of a fit is, is the line? Are the points pretty close to that line? Yeah, they are. And this right here, this number right here tells us if it's a good fit or not. This R is called the correlation coefficient. It's 0.999. Now, if, it was perf if these points were perfectly on this line, it would be an R of 1. If it'd be, you know, pretty far off of the line, it'd get close to zero. Um, and then if it's a negative slope and they're exactly on that line, you would have an R of negative, pretty close to negative one. If it's not real close, but it's still a negative slope, it'd be negative 0.5 or 0.3 or something. So the closer to one or negative one, the better fit it is. So is it a good fit? Yes, it is. Our correlation coefficient is 0.9997. Um, now, just because it is a very good um, correlation, does that mean that the year causes the cost? No, uh, correlation does not mean causation, and that's something you would learn a lot in statistics classes. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is to do number nine here. So pause the video, use Desmos, and plug in these numbers, get your graph, try and get, take a guess what R would be. Find the least squared regression line, and then uh, make a prediction. Okay, after you pause it and do it, and then come back here, and I'll type it in right now as well. And you can go faster speed here if you want. <laughs>
Okay, so there's our data. Um, this is the number of passengers in 2002 versus 2006 in different airports. Um, the last one there is Denver. So Denver went from 35.7, I'm guessing millions of passengers up to 47.3 million. Um, so anyway, so um, if you would look at this, okay, um, without looking at the bottom part there, what would you guess the R to be? Okay, so they're not not exactly on, um, so but it's still a pretty good correlation. And if you look over here, our correlation is at 0.985. So it's still pretty good, still pretty tight fit. Um, so correlation is still pretty good. Least squared regression line, there's our slope, there's our y-intercept. y is equal to uh, 0.94x plus 11.91. Um, and then it said part C said if Newark, I'll show it to you. If Newark had 29 passengers in, in 2002, okay, 2002 is our X variable, so that's our X, uh, what would you predict in 2006? So you can take that 29, plug it into the equation there, okay, so take 29, plug it in, or you can make a prediction prediction here if it's at 29 uh, be 39 point whatever there um, so that would be our prediction based upon this model the actual was 36.7 so you know, two or so off to um, this I forget if this is millions or not but uh, so that's how you can use Desmos and what the correlation means